So the difference between person-centered counseling and emotion-focused therapy um, is not just about whether uh, we're, the therapist is being process guiding or suggesting the client talk to chairs. Um, more importantly, uh, uh, EFT has a much higher degree of process differentiation. And this refers to the um, time that EFT therapists have spent looking very carefully at therapeutic process and all the different aspects or types of therapeutic process that um, we have developed or identified and learned to perceive over um, the um, several decades of, of work in development of EFT. So in EFT, um, there's not just one kind of good client process uh, that might be measured by, say, the client experiencing scale, which is like, you know, um, describing your experience uh, and um, formulating issues around it. There are other kinds of good client process, uh, including accessing strong emotions, reflecting on your emotions after you've been in a process. So, so EFT differentiates different kinds of good client process. We also differentiate different kinds of empathy. So uh, we think that you know, empathy for the kind of main point the client's trying to tell us is one kind of empathy, but there's also empathy for the subtle nuances in, the, in what the person's saying or the experiences that are just emerging in their experience, um, that uh, this is a different kind of empathy. And EFT distinguishes six or seven different kinds of empathy, um, ranging from the main point to uh, what's emotional, most emotionally poignant to um, things that are difficult to talk about that the client mentions and then pushes away. So sort of topics that are being avoided um, to the sense of the whole person. So there's many different ways of listening empathically to our clients. And in EFT, tr we try to employ all of them at different times. But it's also important to us to recognize um, the different ways of being empathic because it helps us develop more fully our skills in empathy. Um, so there, and there are many other kinds of process differentiation. But in my experience, um, this degree of, of differentiation of different kinds of process has been the greatest struggle for um, uh, more classically trained person-centered uh, counselors or therapists in trying to learn EFT. And uh, therapists have often said to me that they worry about um, um, all the different concepts and words and things in EFT and they, what they worry about is that they will go, it'll push them into their heads and they'll stop listening to their clients. They'll stop being empathic. And obviously, you know, empathic attunement is always the, the first thing in a person-centered experiential or emotion-focused therapy. So we don't want to interfere with the empathy. And so I tell my, you know, people who are coming to study EFT that um, we use these concepts to reflect on our process. Um, in EFT, the important thing is to have an experience. So with our clients and with ourselves, we have an experience, we try something out, um, and then we, afterwards we step back and reflect on it. Um, and so we bring the head and the heart together in EFT by first the heart has the experience, the emotions happen, and then we uh, access our head or more properly the, the new parts of our brain, the neocortex, we access those to reflect on what's happened. And that's the place where the EFT concepts can be really useful. And every time you reflect on your practice, uh, it, changes your, the next, it changes you the next time you go and work with your clients. So you bring a little bit of that reflection into it, and that begins to gradually differentiate your process. So in EFT, you know, we say you know, we learn things one at a time, um, and much of learning EFT is about this process of differentiation. So for example, with a therapeutic task, um, like um, empty chair work for um, unfinished business with important people in your life, the first thing to know about that task is that there's a task that clients routinely bring to us about unresolved, painful feelings about important people in their lives. And uh, it's really important for us to just know that that's a specific kind of work. So the first thing is to actually know the task. And if we know the task, then we'll be on the same page with our clients. Uh, we won't be you know, trying to work with an internal conflict when actually the client wants to resolve uh, an, un, you know, an unresolved grief with a parent, for example. 
Um, and so that's a process of differentiation. We start just by having empathy for what the client brings as their intentionality, their agency, the task they offer us in the session. And then the next thing we want to learn is generally what you do with an unfinished business marker. And that's generally to have the client have a conversation with that important person in their life. And when you're learning EFT, that's, you know, those are the first two steps, right? And then we go from there. Everything else is details that people develop over time. A little bit like uh, a picture coming into focus. You know, first you can only see the broad outlines. And then if you sharpen the focus of the picture, um, you begin to see more and more details. And that's, I think, how learning EFT works also and how people manage uh, to master that high level of process differentiation.